Hi, my name is Steve. I'd like to thank you for joining me on my YouTube channel, Panoramic Travels, where we provide videos about our travels and the Panoramic RV. This video is the first of a four-part series, one for each Hawaiian island we visited, Oahu, the Big Island, Kauai, and Maui. I'd like to offer you some tips if you're planning a trip to Hawaii. First and foremost, do a lot of planning a few months in advance. You'll want to book your hotels, Airbnbs, car rentals, and important activities well ahead of your arrival. If you don't, you're going to be spending a lot of your vacation scrambling, making alternate plans, and possibly missing out on some of the activities you had planned to take part in. Stick around to the end of the video when I will share some of our most memorable experiences on the island of Oahu. And if you enjoy this content, please click the like button, subscribe to the Panoramic Travels channel, and click the notify button so you won't miss any videos.
Ratchetry, if y'all enjoying your show so far, say yeah. yeah! Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is what we call our grand finale. Yes, our grand finale! My friend B-Boy Vicious is about to attempt, attempt. To, flip. to flip over. Over! Yes, over all these volunteers. He can really do it, but he's not that good, so get closer. Get closer. So what we got? What we, what we got? got? We got a kid. A kid. A sexy white guy. Sexy what up, bro? And a young lady. Hey, and look, my favorite one. What's that? A sexy cougar. <laughs> so my man is flipping over. Over. Not just one. No. Not just two. No. Not even three. No. But three and a half people. And he's only going to do it if y'all want to see it. If y'all want to see it, say yeah. Yeah. Take a look around look you. Around. Everyone here is different, different. but there's only one, one race, race, and, and that, that is the human, human race. race. Yeah. So we should learn, learn how, how to live, live together and be more civilized. civilized. What I really need you guys to do is do me a favor, get down on one knee. If you thought they were doing it standing up, you're out your freaking mind. <laughs> here we go. Everybody clap like this. Everybody clap. Everybody clap. Alisa, make some noise. Y'all make some noise. Everybody. Make some noise! Oh, Ladies and gentlemen, that's our show. Thank you. So our most memorable experiences on the island of Oahu were the Pearl Harbor National Memorial and some of our food experiences. Obviously, if you travel to Oahu visiting Pearl Harbor is a must. We spent many hours touring the USS Missouri Battleship and the USS Bowfin submarine. There were guides stationed along the way that add a lot of context to what we were looking at and reading about. If you want to buy tickets for the boat ride to the USS Arizona Memorial, for some reason a very limited number of tickets are released a day ahead of time at 3 p.m. We went to the recreation.gov website just before 3 p.m. the day before our visit to Pearl Harbor and tried to get tickets, but they were sold out in less than a minute. The other options are to find the few days that have tickets available at recreation.gov in advance of your trip or to wait in a long line when you get to the memorial site. We didn't end up going to the USS Arizona Memorial, but we had an excellent view of it from the bow of the USS Missouri. As one guy described it, the USS Arizona and the USS Missouri are the bookends of World War II from a U.S. perspective. Our involvement began with the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor on December 7, 1941, including the sinking of the USS Arizona. And World War II ended on September 2, 1945, with the signing of the Instrument of Formal Surrender of Japan to the Allied Powers on the USS Missouri in Tokyo Bay. So let's talk about food. We were told by a friend who grew up in Hawaii to definitely try malasadas from Leonard's Bakery. I think there's one Leonard's Bakery store and two food trucks on the island. A malasada is a Portuguese donut that's crispy on the outside, fluffy on the inside, and can be filled or unfilled. They're served warm and are best eaten that way. They are delicious. Next on the list was Kahuku Superette, internationally known for their poke bowl and Giovanni's food truck right next door known for their garlic shrimp. Now for the high point of the trip, Duke's restaurant right on Waikiki Beach and named for Duke Kahanamoku, who was born in Honolulu in 1890 and became a U.S. Olympic gold medalist swimmer who introduced surfing to much of the Western world. Well, we thought we had made reservations. We showed up at the time we thought we had reserved well, there was a mix-up and on our part, and in fact, we did not have a reservation. The person we were talking to, who we later found out was the manager, said, give me 10 minutes, let me see what we can do. Well, five minutes later, he walked us over to what was probably one of the best tables in the house. It was in the main dining room, just off of the beach and close to the live entertainment. We didn't order full dinners. We ordered and shared two appetizers and enjoyed a few Mai Tais. At some point, we ordered a third appetizer. This one took a while to get to our table. The waitress apologized several times. We said, no problem, we're on vacation, we're not in a hurry, and we're really enjoying the live music and the view as the sun was setting. After we had eaten the third appetizer, I saw our waitress carrying a large ice cream dessert. She brought it to our table and said it was on the house because of the delay with the appetizer. The manager stopped over during our meal. We had a very nice conversation. And when we left, he said goodbye and called me by name. 
I cannot say enough about Duke's ambiance, view, food, and service. Just remember to make a reservation two or three months in advance. You might not get as lucky as we did. Don't forget, this is part one of a four-part series. Next up is the Big Island, and will be followed by Kauai and Maui. Now for the high point of the trip, Duke's Restaurant, right on Waikiki Beach and named for Duke Kahanam, Kahanamoku.